Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking With Me, Chef Angela from Eat Your Heart Out Edibles. Today I'm taking a little spin on my traditional cooking and I'm teaching you how to make homemade Play-Doh. I figured everyone's spending a lot more time with their children these days and this is a fun activity that you can do in the kitchen and then that will keep them busy for hours and last for weeks. And since we're approaching election time, I thought I'd keep it patriotic and I'm gonna make a red and a blue Play-Doh. So this is, again is a great activity for the kids. You're gonna start out with a cup of flour, dump this into a pot, a half a cup of salt, it has to be salt, it can't be sugar, and then two teaspoons cream of tartar, and now if you don't have cream of tartar and you omit this, this, is, this recipe will fall apart. So this is like the magic ingredient, cream of tartar. And then I have a cup of water, and to the cup of water, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of oil, and I'm going to make the blue Play-Doh first. And now at this point, you can make any color you want. And if for some reason the kids got in here before you had time to do this, this cannot, this is a no foul recipe. So you can just throw the water, ooh, water and oil in here and keep going, it's fine. I just feel like this disperses the color more. So I'm gonna add a few drops of blue, so my desired color of blue. Give it a mix -a -roo. And then you add it to this concoction in here. And then you're gonna come over to the stove and over a medium low heat, you're going to mix this. Now, you cannot walk away at this point. You have to monitor this and stay by it because um, it will start to burn. And the other thing is, for the first two minutes, this doesn't look very promising, but stick with it because all of a sudden this comes together, it will start to pull away from the sides and you'll get beautiful Play-Doh. And you know, since I still don't know how to edit my videos, I'm gonna take you over here to this back burner where I have my red Play-Doh. And as you can see, it came together into a lump. It actually starts to get like hard to mix. So I'm going to tail and bring this over here. Now, if you just wait like two minutes, um, when I was a kid, my mom would make this with us. Our favorite thing was to actually play with this Play-Doh while it was warm because it felt like real dough. So give it two minutes and take it out. And it's really not unbearably hot, but not, not for the kids. And you have like this absolute perfect dough that, God forbid the kids try to eat it, it's non-toxic, it's just really salty, but they won't get sick. Everything's edible and Hopefully this will keep them very busy during election night while your eyes are glued to the TV.